Hello guys, welcome back to Good Show Tips. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to fix Street Fighter 6 is having controller or gamepad is not working issue, which is happening for many of the users, and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about you have to disconnect additional joystick controllers and you have to unplug all the things like wheels, pedals, mouses, etc. Once you disconnect everything, see this is what you have to do as the first step. Try with launching the game and try with this and that's going to work for you as well. For many users when they did this, it did work it. Next one is all about we need to enable or disable the steam input. For enabling or disabling the steam input, first go over here in the game, right click and go to properties. Now from here, just go to controller. Now from here you can see this will be by default, use default settings. First change this to, we have three options, disable steam input, use default setting, enable steam input. First set this to enable steam input. Now close this and try launching the game. After enabling the steam input, still you are getting the error. Right click and go to the properties once again. Go to controller once again. Change this to disable steam input and try launching the game. So any one of the thing can be worked. Either the enable steam input can be worked or you can go for disable the steam input. One thing can be worked so you can close this and try launching the game. Moving to the next step is all about we need to configure the controller. That is quite an important step. For that just go over here at the top on uh, top left click on the steam now go to settings now from here just go to steam and go to settings now from here click on this one that is sorry just click on this one now go to controller and there is an option called general controller setting just click on this one that will take you to this right now it is quite important for us to set this up that is right as you can see you have to select the appropriate one if you are playing the game with the controller using the Xbox, then you need to select the Xbox configuration support. If you are trying to play the game with anything like, you know, other than this one, PlayStation, then try to set this up with the PlayStation configuration support. You should be selecting any one of the thing according to your requirement. For example, like I said, if you are on Xbox, select this one. If you are on PlayStation, select this one and uncheck rest everything. And once you uncheck this and select the respective controller, which means you configured this one, just close this and move back and try launch the game once again. Once after trying the configuring the controller, if the issue is still persisting, then we just need to move to the next one. That is all about, we need to launch the steam in the big picture mode. For that, we just need to go over here at the top. This one, that is big picture mode. Just click on this one. So we are in the big picture mode. Now launch the game from the big picture mode. This is what we have to do. Now we have to press any button or tap to continue over here now from here just go over here i'll go go to the menu now go to library now from here if scrolling down you'll be able to find this one okay so now go to the install and select the game from here now launch the game in the big picture mode this did work out for many users so you can try this out as well so that is what we have to do when it comes to this so this is an important step so over here if you wanted to go back to the steam i mean you have to exit the steam just go to the menu go to the power go to exit steam not exit big picture mode so we are back to the steam once again so just launch the game from uh, the steam by running into the big picture mode and that's what is going to work for, work for you as well to the users who are on the xbox they just need to install the xbox app for that we just need microsoft store so go to microsoft store now from here once you launch into the microsoft store search for xbox accessories app you have to download it once you download it configure i mean you have to update your you have to update this one you have to update the app so using the uh, you can update the xbox controller using this app so just go for get so i'm not having the controller but for you those are using this those are trying to play the game with the xbox accessories using the controller just update the configure i mean you have to configure the controller using this app to the users who are on ps5 or ps4 they can try using ds4 windows which can be done as well last one is all about you can try with instead of using the wireless use wired controllers this did work out for many users and you can try this out as well 
So these are the possible workarounds which you can be try out when you are having an issue with Street Fighter 6. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.